Uh, okay, I want to do this quick, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna take it out of the bag. <clears throat> Bags as I go along. Um, here's my little sheet of what I spent today. I spent one one twenty plus ninety five is two fifteen plus thirty five is forty seven two seventy. 273. It looks like I spent 304. Let me just do it again. 1, 2, 12, 215, 240. I don't know. Uh, what I say? <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll start with what I got at the Meadowlands. And honestly, I didn't find much of the Meadowlands. Most of what I got at the Meadowlands was something that some, a friend of mine brought to me. His son doesn't want this stuff anymore. So I got an Xbox 360 with a 60 gigabyte hard drive. Um, I'm sure it'll work. He's he's somebody I know. He's my friend. Um, he told me to just make an offer. And, you know, there weren't really any good games. I'll go through them now. I didn't even look at the games, to be honest. Um, so, I said... He had some speakers. Gears of War. Uh, Gears of War 2. Uh, Army of Two. Really hard to sell games. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. I think all of these games are like ones I'll probably sell for $4 or 3 for 10 Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Rock Band 2, not going to sell. Call of Duty World at War, Red Dead Redemption in a effed up case, and Grand Theft Auto 5, which is probably the most valuable game, but I think it's dropped in value, so it's probably only worth like 8 or 10 Oh, AJ gave me this. This is a mystery game. He says it's NFL written on it, but he wants me to test it. And see what it is. He says if it's a BS game, I get to keep it. But he says if it's worth 10 or more, he wants it back. But there's more to that Xbox lot for 60 And, you know, I can sell a unit for sure for at least 50 bucks with some of these games. Probably two or three of them. Complete tested working. So then the rest of that stuff is where I'm going to make the profit. And... <clears throat> You know, uh, it came with four controllers, so that was good. One, two. Hopefully, the controllers work well. Let me just do this. Three. It's a blue one. I don't see blue ones much. That's a power brick. And cables that I need. Here's a charger. That's unusual. That's for like those. So you don't have to plug it into the TV. You can charge it one thing at a time. But three controllers. Four controllers. If the controllers work, they're at least 10 bucks a piece. Um, oh, and then I got one of these. This used to be worth... Oh. Those used to be worth like ten bucks each, so that's like well, they used to be worth twenty, but that's that's something I I probably I'll try and sell at the flea market for a few dollars. These are battery packs that go on behind of that, and yeah, that is all. All right, um, I bought this patch for two dollars. Eagle Keeper looks like an old one, just the way, and then with this thing hanging off of it. And just the way it is, it was in a box of patches a friend of mine had for, he was like $2 a patch. And I was like, oh, maybe I should make an offer on all the patches. And I'm looking at them like, uh, who cares? I have no clue what I'll get for that. Um, I bought these so I could make basically an anal bead joke about like if these were, <laughs> I know I'm terrible sometimes, but if these were anal beads, could you imagine how many hours? <laughs> It would take. I, uh, they might be. They might be favorites, but they're kind of cool. But if they were anal beads, we're talking like the better part of an evening, possibly into the next day. But they're only three bucks, so there. I'm, I'm willing to spend three dollars to make a joke at any time. Um, and I'm actually I'm doing the metal line stuff first. So I, out of this Xbox stuff, what do I think I'm going to make? Now, I offered them sixty. I think I'm going to make fifty at least. With a controller, the cables, and say two games. 
right? I'll throw on this one too. Um, so 50 at least. And then it's like 10, maybe 25. So that's 75. And this husband would have thought I was going to make 10. That would have been 85. And then I would have made another 10, 10, and 10. So that's like 85 plus 30 would have been 115. But what I got to do is I got to get 60 for this now. I, I can't take less. You know. So if I get 60 for that, it's a straight up double my money. I, you know, for me at the flea market. Um, I don't know if I showed this, but I'll, sh I'll show it again. This is a, a charger for a GameCube. I'm probably going to need that at some point. Uh, five bucks. All right, let me just... I'm gonna t I have more game stuff, but I'm just going to go through the Metal Land stuff first. All right. <clears throat> Off of one vendor. I really didn't buy much there. Off of one vendor. I got this stuff. I got some perfumes. I bought a lot of perfumes today, honestly. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but I paid 20 for this and a sealed in the package game, which I'll show you in a second. Because it was like $8 for the games. Okay, here's the perfumes I bought. Obsession for Men. Calvin Klein. I ought to be able to get my money back for this one. Um, Calvin Klein perfumes aren't always worth a lot, but this is a nice big bottle. So if I can get like between 25 and 30, then I get my money back for the rest of the stuff that I'm going to show. This one, I don't remember what it sells for. Uh, Jean Desprez. I don't think it's a fast sale, but it ought to be worth 20 at least. Um, and the guy was like, perfumes are three to five, so I just took four and, you know. Um, beautiful Estee Lauder. Usually anything Estee Lauder does well, it's kind of a small one, so odds are I'm, I'll save it to lot. But then I, this one, Express Reserve, so I'm guessing it's Limited Express? I don't know a lot about fashion. It says Express Reserve. But it's mostly full, so whatever. So I paid 20 for that. I ought to be able to get my money back and make money on that. And it was, and this was included. This is a sealed uh, herbs, Sims in the City. And at first, I was worried it was a reseal, but it's it's got a coal sticker on the back of it, and it was twelve ninety nine. The only problem is, let me just. Well, it was a rattler. Yeah, it's a rattler. The game. Oh well, that could be the instructions. I don't know. Uh, I, if you didn't know that. If the disc is loose in a sealed package, uh, we call that a rattler. All right. Um, let me just do these two because they're right here. Last sale I went to, I bought this tripod and this fish plate for uh, a dollar each. This I'm going to use. I'm going to use this for my action camera so I can film um, like when I'm at the market. This I'm going to sell. It's signed by uh, Nino Paruca, I, I guess. Uh, Perucha. I think it's Peruca. And it says made in Italy. So it's a nice vintage Italian plate. I dated it at least from the 70s. I uh, don't know what this is worth exactly, but as long as it's worth 25 or more, I can probably stick it on eBay. And, uh, you know, I paid a dollar for it. So, all right. <clears throat> so then I went to this Focus Flea Market. Oh, uh, you know what? Since I'm doing the metal and stuff, let me show you Marie's. Madeline's fine. Uh, her tooth bug is still bugging her, so she had a tooth extracted. See, I used a fancy word instead of saying pulled. Um, Marie got the Swarovski, and she knew that, that this was loose. She's worried it might be chipped. Yeah, right here. But she didn't notice, but it, it was $8. She had something. Here's the stand. It goes on a Christmas tree. Um, she had something like this before that she sold for almost $100 with the chip. Uh, she knows she's not going to get 100 and she missed out on some Wedgwood or ornaments, but they don't sell for a lot of money. And she got some jewelry. And I do have more games. I'll show those in a bit. Oh, she got this. This is really nice. But she says it does have condition problems. Uh, I think she paid 8 for this. This is a whiting and, uh, just... It's a Whiting and Davis mesh purse. And it says it, uh... Let me 
see. Let me see if I can focus. I'm using my uh, my camera. All right. So I'm worried about the, the wind. There it goes. There's my enemy, the wind. Just blowing stuff around. But she says it's missing some loops on each side. So she's going to put it online and sell it as is. I think she said she paid eight for it. I can check and see what Marie paid. I think Marie paid like 30 for everything. Let me just double check. Yeah, she paid 34. All right, so that's another thing she got. Let me just put this in. So remember, 34 for everything for Marie. Sorry if this takes me longer to do this now, but it takes me less time than if I did it be before and arranged it neatly. Okay, <clears throat> this is the only piece of jewelry I found today. And, uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see it. I do it this way. It's a, It's got a Taxco mark on it. You see it? Uh, Taxco for sure. And it's uh, somewhat adjustable in size. See, and it's even got, it's got the hand, I think. Here. Two bucks, we'll figure that out later. Uh, these must've been a dollar, cause this looks like fun. This is probably something she'll sell for like three dollars. It's just, it says mouse error, and it's the cat. All right. This is that same guy. Um, where is it? The stupid bag's blown away. Lee something. Lee whatever. I can't, I can't. I don't remember his name right now. But um, we. This is the third piece of jewelry we have by this guy. Looks like there's a little something going on right there. A little bit. But we did sell a necklace for good money. So here's another cat pin. Oh, I should just go. Look at that. It's like getting further and further. Off into the distance. Let me just, there it is. Hit the focus. Look at that thing. That's like 20 feet away already. The wind. Uh, just a nice cat pin. Oh, this is a sweater clip. This is nice old. I would say this is, I'm going to guess 40s. All right. Let me see. Did I show that? All right, and I don't really see a hallmark on it. This is pretty cool. This is a nicely made snake pin. Um, I guess you just, oh, you know what? Maybe it's an MMA. I don't immediately see any hallmarks on it. Whatever. Um, this is Murano. She'll probably get like between I'd say 30 to 40 bucks for this online eventually. It has a ring clasp. It doesn't have them. The, it might have been a replacement clasp, but it's the beads that she wanted. I guess she just liked this little. This is probably like African, maybe. And I guess she just liked the bone face. That was cool. And uh, this is just kind of funky. This is. I mean, I don't know if it's mid-century modern, but it sure looks mid-century modern. Uh, gee, maybe that's just for eBay. All right, let me just stick your stuff to the side. <clears throat> All right, back to my stuff. Um, then I went to this place. It's kind of a charity for animals. Um, Focus Flea Market. They have it every once in a while. It's in Little Ferry, I think. And one of the first things I bought was this. Uh, vase and this was marked at five dollars. I was like, well, that's good I can probably stick this in the showcase or just flip it But then I immediately took it outside and I don't know if you do this all the time But I'm never as careful as I should be so I immediately put it down too hard and I Made that little chip there. Hey, let me just Now it doesn't matter anymore, but it's right there. Let's focus on it See it It wasn't there before, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. All right. Uh, I'm going, AJ's calling me, but I'm going to ignore it because I don't want to have to edit this together. 
Uh, I'll get him later. All right. Still at the Ford Focus, right? Yeah, it's recording. And they had these outside, but I got this for five dollars. Um, PS2. Hey, it might work. You know, I hope. So there's a good chance. But it did come with two memory cards, and again, five dollars, the cord and everything. And then I went back and I saw all these games, and I was like, hey, <laughs> hey. Now I was like, um, these games go with that unit. I, and I, I said, do I owe you anything else? They're like, no, just take it. So I got Sega's Classic uh, Mystery. Let me just. Star Wars. Uh, Jeopardy. Poor Alex Trebek. He has cancer. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Manuals. And Civil War plus a Sony PS2. The only thing of value here is probably the Sega Classics and um, the unit itself. Hopefully it works. Um, and then they had these. They were like three for a dollar, so I just took them. I can sell these for a dollar a piece at the flea market. So that's like triple my money. 300% profit. Eventually. All right. Um, then these were a buck a piece. So, um, I'm not sure if this is a good game, but I'm not, I didn't feel like looking it up. So, but uh, the other thing is there's two of them. So if they're not worth that much, either I can lot them or throw them in or something like that. All right. And then this was sealed. Scribble knots. Um, I paid a dollar for it. Probably doesn't have much value. All right. I'm just get this out of the way. Just so I don't have so much stuff on the table. Right, condense a little bit. All right, um, so let's see. At that sale, Marie didn't buy anything, but I spent $33. So, I mean, as you can see, I, my $33 is made back immediately when I saw that. And then I got these Funkos. I got a, uh, they were, now, I went in, I was outside and they were like two bucks a piece. So I was like, oh, I'll just take them all, you know? And 191, so it's the Archon. But I, I checked prices, and they're probably only worth like 10 bucks a piece. So I had a feeling that in the morning the guy was like um, five dollars a piece, and everybody was like, "Nah, I'm not doing it." At five dollars a piece, if they're only worth eight to ten dollars a piece, I'm not gonna make any money. I just, I'm just doing this so that stupid bag doesn't blow away. So anyway, how many of these did I get? I got one, two. Three. No, I mean I'll sell them. I, would, I mean I would have liked to got ten dollars a piece. If I knew I'm only gonna get like five dollars a piece, I wouldn't have bought these because it's like it's uh, too big. They take up too much room, you know. So hopefully I can get. You know, so far they're all the same. The Arc Non. Nobody cares about the Arc Non. Are they? I, I thought I thought there was like at least one different one. No. Arc non. So, they're nice big figures. The funny thing is, is if I wanted to make room, I could probably take them out of the box and sell them for five apiece. <laughs> anyway, so, like, it's so goofy. All right, now, the last sale I went to was actually, uh, if you go to the metal end, you know Steve. Uh, he's a clean-out dude. I actually thought the sale was going to be a different Steve. Hmm, hasn't gone further. Um, but it wasn't a different Steve. It was Steve from the Metal Ant. And the funny thing is, is Steve has been doing this forever, so he's not unexperienced when it comes to pricing. But um, he was actually, more, I think, more negotiable than at the Metal Ant. At the Metal Ant, I would have got frustrated right away, and I would have been like... Uh, I, I just don't care, you know. But I did manage... Uh, he did give me a decent price on what is contained here. This was actually in there, but it's not now. Um, he charged me 120 for everything here. And um, there's a couple of good perfumes in here. and uh, Nothing that's going to pay for everything in one shot, but that's, that's not usual uh, when I buy some things for that to happen. You know, normally I sell a little bit here. I sell a little bit there, you know. Let's see, I'm looking for my other glasses. All right, let me see if I can get my really strong glasses on because I'm going to be reading really small type. I was just like blah, blah, blah. But it, he was actually pretty negotiable. 
Okay. And I'm putting on my super strong glasses now. Now I can see, like, I don't know, if you put some powder on an ant's butt and he farts, I could see the powder. <laughs> I could see really small stuff. Not molecules, but just really small stuff. All right. Um, I'll start with this. 120 bucks for the contents of that. Here's just a really nice closet A vase. I'm looking for Asian stuff. For my showcase. I know I can get... This is a nice old one. I know I can get like at least 35. Don't know what it's going to be worth. But it's it looks like it has a rooster. And then something. Peacock? But it has a rooster. I don't know. It's really unusual. I'll let Marie look at it. But it's got butterflies. And on this side it has... A serpent. Can you see that? I don't know. I, I know that's at least 40 bucks right there. Here's a fence and cat. This one's probably not worth too much. Let's see how the ear is. I don't really like that ear. But at first he he said he was like, well, uh, the person is going to be like, oh, some of them are going to be 20. So I'm like, Pfft. You know, if they're 20, then they got to be at least 50 to $60 for me to want to buy them. So he pulled out a bunch of stuff and he said, 80 for this. And then I took four things. I said, how about 120 for this? And I just, these are the perfumes I added. Now these perfumes, I don't know about this one. This one. And this one. Okay, not this one. So it was 80 for this, this. And the contents of this. And then when I took this, he added another 40. And this is the first he wanted 20 a piece. I was like, hey, could you just bundle it for me? This is a Christian Dior. Like the labels and stuff were all messed up. And somebody had them in a box with powder. And the powder got all over everything. Uh, but this is Christian Dior. Eau de Toilet. Uh, 30 millimeters. That ought to be worth. You know, I don't always know. Um, but it ought to be worth like 25 to 35 at least. This one might be good. This one might be worth 60 or so, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find it. That happens to me a lot when I'm trying to research stuff in the field. This is a Paloma Picasso. Yeah. And I don't know if you can read that. Like here. Let me see if I can focus in on it. When I use my camera, I can touch the back of... When I use my phone... There. I can touch the back of my phone and it focuses in really well on stuff. So it's an eau de toilet spray. This might also be worth 50, 60, maybe more. And then this is a... I'm unsure lab, and I've had that before. It's two fluid ounces. Uh, this ought to be worth like 50, 60, which, which is actually better for me to get it instead of paying 20 a piece. Because with this stuff, I don't know when I'm going to sell any of it. Um, but let me now I'll go through what I paid the 80 for. And started with that, started with this. This, I don't know. I think that you're, I don't really think it's a chip or anything. You know, it's always dark in these houses. So even if I put that in the showcase for like 12 bucks, I don't care. Um, oh, I'll start with, with this. We got this necklace. Uh, it says something right here. I can read it. I can, I can almost read it better. I don't know what it says. Um, Havora? H O something A, but it actually says nine two five nine two five. Let me take. It. Oh, it must be the type of pearls. That's Hanora, maybe. Yeah, I think it's Hanora. Marie said she got a Hanora pearl um, necklace. I don't know how much that is worth. And then she got this. She she liked this. She likes these claws and A pendants. Oh, these dangle ones. This one had a unicorn on it, so that's pretty cool. Yep, unicorn both sides. See, it's got a little dangle. And rope. I don't know what she's going to get for that. Then the rest of this should be perfume. Bill Blast for Women Cologne Spray. Again, I paid 80 for this, so I'm going to do fine on this stuff. And I'm assuming it's worth 20 to 30. Um, this one ought to be worth 20 to 30. This is Mujo des Bois. De Bois. Um, Cody, Falcon Mist. Ought to be worth at least 20. Here's a English Leather Spiced Cologne. This is probably something they don't make anymore. I don't think it's full. Um, 
Here's an English leather bottle. I don't know what this is, but I just, I was like throwing stuff in because I figured, whatever, who cares? Oh, this is Windrift cologne. Oh, uh, this feels full. The label, of course, is coming off just to make my life annoying. So like that. All right, so it doesn't blow away. Um, I got some of these. Oriental Flowers Cologne by Jovan. They look, it looks like old. This is Lilac. If these are worth at least Oriental Flowers, this one's a Lilac Cologne. If these are worth uh, hopefully at least 16 or more a piece, I'll just list them individually. I don't think I got duplicates. Let's see. If there's duplicates, I'll lock them. Modern Flowers and Lily of the Valley. I, you know, I just, I was throwing stuff in. You know, so for the $80, let's see. No, because this, this is separate. Uh, okay, for the $80 that I spent, barring that, let's see how I did on the clone. All right, I figure this is at least 20. This is good for lotting, but I don't know what it is, so that makes it difficult. I was just throwing stuff in. This, don't know what it's worth. This ought to be good worth 20. This, don't know what it's worth. These, I'm gonna say they're worth 10 a piece, at least. So that would say like 15 a piece with shipping. So 20, uh, 40, maybe uh, 80 to 90. Uh, don't know. 90. Um, this one's interesting. Jade East, a man's cologne. And this is made by Swank. Something like this could be 30, 40 bucks, but I don't know. Uh, this feels full. And I'm pretty sure I, I've had Shalimar before. This ought to be worth like 30, 35. Uh, Monsieur, Monsieur Lavin. It's like freaking dominoes here. Okay. He didn't notice. Oh no, it's cologne and aftershave. So maybe I can lot these. And maybe this will be worth like at least maybe 80. Then I got some of these. Uh, remember High Karate? Oriental Lime, not full. Uh, high Karate, Oriental Lime. And this is, it's a dirty bottle, but I'll clean it. Oriental Spice. Do you remember High Karate? Like, all the ladies would be, like, trying to get at the guy, and he'd do karate to, to beat him off. Um, and that's not to beat them. Nobody got beat off in the commercials. It was like... <laughs> all right. Um, this, I know, is good. I've had this before. This ought to be worth at least... 75 and up but i don't know for sure but when he said 80 and i knew this was in there i was like okay yeah i'll take it because i i know i'm pretty much covered here and then the rest is is like a uh, profit so yeah that's it i mean i spent a lot of money today but i got some good stuff um i'm not going anywhere tomorrow day off st patty's day that's not why i'm taking a day off just not doing anything tomorrow um if you want to see some of the sales I went to, some of the stuff I looked at, some of the stuff I passed up on, go to uh, Scummy Resellers later because this will be posted first. And uh, check my uh, check my video because I'm going to do where uh, like you'll see live hunting and, and that kind of stuff and a little bit of the flea market and, you know, I, 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 me talking while I'm at the flea market and all that stuff. All right. Anyway, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you saw some good stuff today, you know. Maybe uh, you learned what, what to buy uh, from me a little bit. Um, this is probably the one thing that I already regret buying. <laughs> Just because of its massive size. Like if, these, if I only sell these five bucks a piece, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're about the size of a bucket. And it's like maybe 35 at most. But yeah, otherwise, I think I did pretty good. And I got a lot of stuff to work on. I'll be busy next week working on all this stuff. Um, anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye.